Hi guys, my name is Jennifer, welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, thank you very much for clicking back. I much appreciate the views and the love and the subscribe, because I'm sure you have by now. If you've never been here before, then I'm Jennifer, yeah. So thank you very much for clicking on this video. Thank you very much for joining the family. I hope you have a great time here. I hope, I do, I hope you do have a great time here, to be honest. Yeah, I do, I'm gonna stand by that one. Today is a very exciting, exciting video. Of course, is another haul, of course. To be honest, right, I'm gonna start off with the shipping on this one. It was an absolute nightmare. Absolute nightmare. So I ordered everything on the 23rd. It got shipped and everything. Everything was fine. It got into England, got into the depot that it needed to be at on the 2nd of May. So everything up to that point was completely fine. So 23rd, got it on the 2nd. Not bad to say that it came from America. Should have had it delivered on the 3rd, however, the delivery company is quite possibly, I've, I've only ever had bad experiences with this delivery company, I hate when people use them, whenever I get an order shipped and it's like, oh it's coming with this one, I'm just still like, really, because it's just, it's never gone smoothly, ever, I, I absolutely hate this company, it's honestly awful. Anyway, this company couldn't find the address which is ridiculous every other delivery company has always found my address no one's have an issue i got it sent to my work which is in the city center it's a restaurant how do you not find a restaurant in the city center do you know what i mean it's just the reason i got it sent there was purely because in being in between two flats didn't know where to get it sent i didn't know if it was going to arrive earlier and then it'd be in the old flat or if it'd arrive later and it'd be, do you know what I mean? I just didn't know where to send it, so I just thought I'll play it safe and I'll just send it to work because I'm always at work anyway. I've done that before, especially over Christmas, if I don't want my boyfriend to see what I'm ordering, I'll send it to work just so it doesn't sort of ruin the surprise because usually he'll he'll be the one who's in to collect it because I'm working, like, I'm working throughout the day, do you know what I mean? So I just get it sent to work anyway. So never had an issue with anyone ever not being able to find the address, it's ridiculous. Even tourists who've never been in the city can find this restaurant. It's a big chain restaurant. You literally can't miss it. So I got into the I got into the chat and I was like, "Here, what's the crack? Basically, why can't why is it saying incomplete address? Like the address is correct, that they give you the right address?" And they were like, "Oh yeah, they just can't find the address." And I was like, "Okay, well." And they were like, "Can you give us the address again?" And I was like, "Well, that's fine, but would it be easier to get it sent to my new home address?" And they were like, "Yeah, that's fine." So I gave them my home address. Then they told me that it was out of range of the depot. Fair enough. I mean, it's only a 15-minute walk from town, but they said it was out of range. So I was like, "That's fine. Can you send it to another depot or something so I can get it to this home address?" Because you can't seem to find my work address. And they were like, "No." I was like, "Okay, well." what would you like me to do because you can't find my work address and you won't let me change it to my home address so what would you like me to do and then they asked if there were any landmarks near the original address now if a big restaurant sign isn't a clear enough landmark I honestly don't know what is and at that point I was just like I mean it's literally it's got a big sign outside of it it's sandwiched between two other big chain restaurants what else? I, I can't. If you can't find the restaurant, Anne, I honestly can't help you here because this is insane. Time passed. Message him again and again and again because he kept saying they'd send it and never arrived. Eventually, on the eighth, I got my parcel. So this is after six days. Six days of them saying that they couldn't find my address. They finally found my address, and my parcel arrived. So. Here is my parcel. To be honest, I thought I ordered more than this and it doesn't really look that big, so I'm a little bit confused, but we're gonna go ahead and open it and see what's inside. So the first thing I've pulled out is this, it's called the Stop and Stir Athlet Athleisure Set. That's how you pronounce it. So basically, it's just a little white crop top here, and it comes with your white sort of like cycling shorts. These actually feel super thick. Um, yeah, they feel really thick. They're not sort of 
uber stretchy which is good because then I feel like that means it won't be that see through and they are white so we're gonna go ahead and see see what the see what they're like yeah I mean so far they feel okay stitching looks all good I got this in a size small and it was $25 I can't remember how much I paid in pounds but on the website it actually like converts it into your currency so I've obviously bought this in pounds well it's told me how much it was in pounds when I bought it but $25 so little athleisure set so this is the athleisure set I am um, I'm not sure about this I love the top I do like the top I love how like short cropped it is and I love the uh, confederate I love the square neckline I think the top's really sweet, it's really thick as well. I've got a bright pink bra on, you can't even see it, so that's all sweet. The only thing is, the material gathers here. I don't know what that means. They tend to gather here and then it does that weird sort of like bunching thing, but I mean it's fine on the bum and everything. And it's fine on the legs actually, like they're not too tight on the legs. Overall, I think it's pretty cool. I think, like, I think on the airport on the way back from Mexico, I think it'll look sweet with, like, when I've got a tan. But, I don't know, actually, I do think this is cool. It was better than, it looks better than what I thought it would look like on me, to be fair. Oh, so this is the reason. I genuinely nearly forgot the reason that I went to fashion over then. So this is the reason that... Me and I think everyone else buys from Fashion Nova. Like, you can't buy, go to Fashion Nova without buying a pair of jeans. So I just picked up these classic high-waist high -waist, high -waist skinny jeans. These are the ones in the medium blue wash. They were $35, and these are in a size 5. Whatever that means. They seem pretty stretchy, actually. Yeah, they seem good. I love the colour of them. The pockets are cool. I like the seams as well. Yeah, they feel pretty decent. I quite like the tags that they come with as well. I think they're cool. But... And I love the little cute um, USA label. I absolutely love like the American flag. It's amazing. I went through a phase where literally everything was just the American flag in my room. Honestly, I just love it so much, I love it. Um, they look pretty good, they feel pretty nice, they feel stretchy, which is how I like my jeans. I don't like my jeans proper denim, I feel find them really uncomfortable. These are the jeans, I really like these jeans. So, we'll start with the waist, because I always struggle finding jeans that fit like hips and waist and legs and everything. So we'll start with the waist, you can tell like, there is space here, I can pull it back, but to be honest, I wasn't expecting it to be uber tight. And it's, when I'm just like normal, there isn't a, there isn't a gap there, so, I, I mean, this is the best waistband I've ever had. It, they don't feel too tight either. Um, they're really stretchy, like, they don't feel restricted, they feel super comfortable. I honestly think these are my new favourite jeans. There's just back there, we've got two pockets here. Yeah, they just feel really comfortable. I I, I love the um I love the colour of them. These are gonna be my new new like go-to jeans. I think they're mint. They fit so nicely. I actually can't get over how nice they fit and for what I paid, it wasn't even that much for a pair of jeans. I think that this is the only place I'm going to get jeans from now on, but yeah. So I bought another denim object. So this isn't by Fashion Nova. This is by, all right, I'm gonna pronounce it cello because that is how you pronounce cello, C-E-L-L-O, -L -L, like the instrument cello, but who knows how you pronounce it. So this is a cropped black denim jacket. I did, don't know if I realized it was cropped. But that's okay, I don't mind cropped. I quite like cropped things. I don't, maybe I didn't know it was cropped. I don't know. I, I, I feel like it was so long ago now, I've genuinely forgotten what I've wanted. But the edges are sort of frayed. You won't be able to see, but it almost looks as if it should have been cropped more. And then they've like unhemmed it, and that's how they've got it to fray. I quite like the wash. It's dark, it's a little bit sort of like 
faded, which is what I like. Um, it's a size medium. I'm not sure how much this one costs. This one, it's called Love is a New Denim Jacket. So I'll link it anyway, all below. So it'll be online so you can see how much it costs there. I just thought this would look really good over the athleisure set. Like a lot of this stuff I bought like with the airport in mind, really. Just looking like properly suave at the airport, jetting off away. When I've got my tan, do you know what I mean? I think it'd be mint. So I got this jacket in a medium because I want it to be oversized and I think I quite like it. I could have stuck with the small to be fair, so maybe if you want it oversized you can still keep it at the same, like at, at your small, but I don't hate that it's medium, like I do still, I don't know, maybe I like it a, a bit better because it, I did size up one, just so it's like uberly so oversized and I can be like... It's like a nice lightweight jacket, so it wouldn't be a winter jacket at all. But, what if it's like over my shoulder? People do this, don't they? Do I still look cool? Yeah, I'm happy with these. I'm really happy with this, actually. Right, so. I... Look, um... This is very out of my comfort zone, I don't wear stuff like this, but we'll see. So these are, it's the Tammy Camo, why am I, why am I struggling to read today? It's the Tammy, Tammy Camo Lounge Jogger in a size small, this was $28. And again, these are Fashion Nova, um, yeah, these are just the joggers, they've got cuffs at the bottom. I don't, they're thin, which is cool they, they feel really soft they feel comfy and uh, maybe I had the airport in mind like traveling I don't know I don't wear joggers usually um, and maybe I thought I was like really cool when I was ordering it and then actually now I'm sat here I don't I actually don't think I'm cool enough to pull camo joggers off <laughs> well do you know what we're gonna give it a go we're gonna give it a bash we'll have a look these joggers are the only thing so far where I've been like, no. So this is what I'm, so joggers don't sue me and it's exactly for this reason. I don't know where these are going to sit on your hips. I think it would look better if it was high up and sort of pulled in at the waist, but, but they're not. So they sort of like sit here. I don't know, they bag at the front, they're really tight on my legs because I have got sort of like bigger legs than my hip, like my waist. They, I don't know, I feel like they make it look like I've got a nappy on. I don't know, maybe, maybe I can like, maybe I can sort it out but I don't think so. I think these are going to just stay as like house loungewear. It's just because it's so tight on my legs and then it's just so baggy on my waist it just sort of bags down but stays up. Do you know what I mean? It's just not a good... It's not really a good look really, is it? <laughs> no. There's more in here than I thought, you know? Like, the bag seems quite small but there's still a couple of bits in. I'm just surprising myself in this haul today. Maybe I should get more stuff from America because I forget what I've ordered. So this is the Don't Be Square bodysuit. Um, it's a little thong bodysuit there. Size small, this is $20. It's got the square neckline. Now, looking at this straight away, it's, well, feeling it, it's kind of like, it's really stretchy, like, swimsuit material. Do you know what, it's that sort of like, like, like a dance leotard, that's what it feels. It feels like one of my old dance leotards is what it feels like but it looks like it's really high waisted as well which would be it should be I I can't remember what the model looked like so we're just guessing it looks high waisted which I think it'd be pretty cool. I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe. The only thing is it maybe when once you put it on and it's stretched out it won't but at the moment it's bunching at the top and I'm not a fan of that and I, I think they've gone for like the seamless look at the top, which is why it's done it, I don't know. Maybe once it's on, it doesn't look all sort of like bunched. But at the moment, it's looking bunched, I'm not sure, so. We'll see when I try it on. 
This is the bodysuit here. It has actually evened out at the top, so it's not really ruched anymore. I, I love the square neckline. I love how blunt it is. The only thing is that material where it literally shows like everything. So if you're a little bit bloated, you're going to have a little, little pouch there. But the sides come up to here. I guess you can pull them right up if that's what you wanted to do, where your trousers like low and be like, I'm not, I'm not pulling them for this. But yeah, it feels super soft. It's not too thin. Like, I haven't got a bra on, you can probably tell. <laughs> Oops. Um, so I haven't got a bra on just because I didn't want to see the straps. You can't sort of like see directly through or anything which is good it is sort of like double layered which is a good thing yeah i quite like this with a pair of jeans i just think it'd be like really cool during the day i don't know what i thought when i placed this order okay we're gonna roll with it so this is called the remedy for everything romper i got it in a size small 23 dollars straight away this feels so nice this feels almost like a cross between like suede and the, that like sort of slinky material like the other bodysuit it feels lovely again we've got i think that's a square neckline i don't know it's, it's a romper so it's a little tight place out here don't know what i was thinking there was a <laughs> zip top back. why did i think i was really cool when i placed this order i'm not cool enough to pull this off I'm going to reserve judgement until I try everything on. Maybe it actually looks alright on. I think, again, I thought I could wear this at the airport. Why would I want to wear a place at the airport, though? It'd be such a faff going for a week. Why would I... I don't know, maybe it looks really nice on. And we're going to hope it looks really nice on because I can't retain any of this stuff, so we'll just hope. <laughs> This is actually so comfortable, I feel like I'm completely naked. Oh my god, I actually, I actually, I love this. This is so comfy. Do you know how before I said I might work at the airport and I was like, no, because going to the toilet would be awful. Nah, nah, not at all. This would be worth it. This would be worth it. It's so comfy. It's so soft. I honestly don't feel like I'm wearing any clothes at all. Like, it's so... What? It's... What the, what on earth? The only thing is, the so again, square neckline, loving myself the square neckline recently apparently, who knows. Only thing is, it does tend, I'm going to put my hand here so you can see, it does tend a bit at the back. It's not as sort of flush as where my waist is. I, I've always had this issue with like bodysuits, so I just thought maybe, maybe we could just like put a belt on it. If I can get my belt on. Okay, I don't actually have a hole that's small enough for my waist right now, but sort of like this, I think it'd be really cool. And it just like it, it pulls you in, and I don't have that problem anymore. The legs are super, super comfortable. They're not too tight at all. I have a lot of issues with shorts being too tight around my thighs, and they look, just like, they look like sausages. It's hideous. It's honestly hideous. But I'm not getting that. I think this is like my favourite thing. These and the jeans, I think it's my favourite thing. Like, I actually, I, no, do you know what? I think, I, I feel like I could wear this in public and like. <laughs> and then the last thing it looks like is this t shirt that says no bra, no prop. I saw this, I actually couldn't say no to it because obviously my boob job, and now I can not wear a bra and still have massive boobs. So, um, it's called No Bra No Prob Top, size X small, only because they only had it in extra small left. I would not have wanted an extra small. Usually I would have gone for the small, however, that's all they had left, hopefully. Because it's kind of like a little bit oversized and baggy. Hopefully it's still like that. It was $15, so I don't want it to be tight. I really hope it's not tight, but it's like high necked. And then the sleeves are sort of like drop sleeves, like all the way down here. You'll see better when it, I've tried it on. It feels really soft, like, yeah, it feels super soft. It feels super comfortable. Another airport pie. I've only bought airport clothes in this haul. So this is just the no bra, no prob top. I, 
yeah this is so comfortable the arm isn't too low i don't know if that's because i had to size down maybe it had been sort of baggier if not but i mean i feel like these are a nice drop the only thing is this sort of does this but i don't know if i care like i think i quite i think i quite like it so it is it is sort of down here this is how it looks like it you can see that it looks sort of like really flowy but i tie all my t-shirts up here because I like to get as much skin out as possible because that is just who I am so I'd, I'd wear it like this tie it up here yeah no I'm actually really happy with this I, I don't mind that I had to size down also if I sort of bend over you can't see through the armhole which is another good thing and you obviously can't see the neck hole like I do like high necked I've always loved high neck tops so yeah that's just no bra no bra no props well I hope you enjoyed my haul that was everything for today if you enjoy my video then go ahead and click the little subscribe button and then you will be subscribed and I will love you forever you'll be part of the family if you really enjoy my video go ahead and click the little notification bell then you get notified every time I upload a new video which is every Tuesday and Fridays at 5 p.m saying that i hope you all have a lovely 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 rest of the day and i wish you all the best for the next coming days and i'll see you next time